Hello, 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 it's Brandy Janae here. Welcome if you're new to my channel and welcome back if you're returning. I appreciate your support. In today's video, I'm going to show you what's inside this bag. So if you're interested in seeing what's inside, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me get that. Oh, get that basket in the way. Anyway, let me go ahead and get started. So this bag, if you can't already tell, is another purchase that I have made from Erin Condren. And okay, let me just let me just let me just show you. So of course, with all Erin Condren purpose purchases, I'm gonna move this out of the way. You get your freebies. Um, so it comes with the freebies here and then of course your coupon and your sticker sheets and all of that. So I won't go into that. If you've watched any Erin Condren unboxing videos, you already know what this looks like. If you don't know what this looks like, then feel free to go back and check out one of my Erin Condren unboxing videos and you will see that. It also, oh no, never mind. So one of the things that I purchased that you guys have seen is that I did get the compact vertical layout and it's the weekly layout which I absolutely love however after watching videos more frequently and after like legit thinking about my planning and and my needs I realized that that wasn't going to be enough so I did it <laughs> they was like girl don't do it and I was like I ain't gonna do it and then I did it so I purchased this beautiful planner folio let me take it out of this plastic so I can touch it and I'm so excited because to me this is like classic Erin Condren right here like if you don't know Erin Condren for any other thing you know it for this particular pattern I've seen it in so many different colors but I just thought this was bright and cheery and I'm so excited to have it. So again, I went with the A5 layout. Oh my gosh, that gold is gorgeous. So it's this beautiful A5 planner folio. And I believe this is called Mid-Century Circles, I think is what this is called, the actual pattern. But I just love it. I think it's so beautiful. And I feel like it'll be semi-easy to carry on the go. We'll find out. If it does not work as a carry on the go thing, then I will switch. If you saw my last video, then you know that the Notique cover fits that A5 ring bound planner that I have. So for some reason, this is like way too much to go outside or fit in my bag or whatever then I will go ahead and switch that one to that one because the weekly will stay at home so it's gonna just serve as like a general overview of what's happening throughout the week but these dailies are going to serve as my day-to-day -day planner system because so what you can write in the weeklies is you know like movie or book club or whatever but it's harder to keep track of like the time because obviously the day or the weekly pages aren't long enough to put like every single hour or whatever and then it's just more challenging to see like a snapshot of your day and I don't do a lot like I really don't my day is fairly minimal However, I have noticed that I've started to kind of like miss appointments or miss times or even just kind of get my schedule a little bit mixed up just because everything is just so bunched together. So I'm hoping that having this daily system will work better. So I went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth a ton about which daily life planner set to get and I decided to go ahead and go with the flora I'm not a super super huge flower person I mean I don't hate it but it's not like oh my god I need flowers so but I do kind of like that it's a little bit 
more neutral. And I just feel like, especially with like the stickers that I own and the sticker books that I typically lean towards, I do have more floral things. So that's why I went ahead and got this one, especially since my other one is already the colorful one. So I was like, eh, have something different. So anyway, here is the life planner. And of course, I'm going to put my name here more than likely. And I've actually haven't seen this. So <laughs> it's kind of a flip through as well. And so here is the goal page, your year at a glance page for 2022. And this is just for July through December. And then the other part of it is for the January through June. I'm wondering why they put this part. This is, I'm assuming like the vellum. I wonder why they put this one in here instead of in here. Cause I don't really want to open this I don't want all my pages to get all jacked up because I'm not going to carry all 12 months in my planner at one time I think that's ridiculous especially once you start putting in stickers and things like that like it's going to bulk up I probably will not use nearly as many stickers in this particular planner as I do in the other one because this one is definitely going to be more functional so it'll primarily have scripts and probably icons but less of the decorative and I'll probably use like washi and stuff just so it's not like boring but the kits and all of those things will be used in the weekly instead of in the daily because I want to be able to just like scribble stuff down even just throughout the day as it happens and not have to worry about like pre-planning as much if that makes sense so anyway you have the year at a glance for the rest of 2022 here's the part for 2023 here is July and then, of course, the July calendar and a notes page. And then you have your dashboard, which I still haven't figured out how in the world I'm going to use these. And then it immediately goes into your daily pages, which starts on July 1st. So unlike the weekly, which starts, I think, you know, last week of June, this one literally starts on July 1st. So you have all of those pages then in the back there is a notes page then you have your august and again i just like the i like that i don't have to do anything to the monthly because it's already decorated at the top so i can literally just you know maybe add some fun to the sidebar and then even in some like blank squares add some stuff but i don't have to because it's already it's already pretty up there so here is September, October, November, pretty, and of course here is December. And then this one has, again, the notes page with an extra little sheet of half sheet of notes and then the heritage and awareness of services and then this is the back i'm i probably won't add this because i have the heritage and awareness of services on a lot of books so i don't necessarily need that page and i may even go ahead and purchase some more of the notes pages just so i can have those in there in the event that i need them so i'm gonna go ahead and just stick this in here because i'm excited and I have used the ring. Oh, that's hard. Ooh, that was really hard. I have used the ring bound system before in the A6 size as well as the pocket size. So I'm very familiar with the rings. And I do like how much you can customize a ring planner. Just like the disc planner is so much easier to customize it when it's like this because the coil Although you can punch it, and I did purchase a punch for it, you so you can obviously add things to it. But this for spacing wise, unless you're going to start like ripping pages out, you just run out of room a little bit faster. So this really works nicely because I can take out like if I don't want all six months in here, I can just take out three months and then easily just slide them back in here later. So, but oh, that's so pretty. So that is put in there. And then I also purchased 
this oh i'm sorry it of course comes with the bookmark so i will go ahead and put that in because they all come with a bookmark and then it also came with the perpetual calendar which i now don't need because there was one in the other one that i already started writing in so i don't actually need this one so i'll probably send this one to maybe my mom or my grandma because they like to keep track of birthdays and stuff like that so and then I also purchased this habit tracker. It's like a wet and dry erase thing because I was like, oh, I can track, you know, certain habits. And then I realized, well, I haven't done it yet, but I, in my mind, I'm going to get real tired of writing the same thing like week after week after week after week after week. So I figured it would be easier to just write the habits here. And then this also saves me on having to either purchase habit tracking stickers or make habit tracking stickers or whatever. And so I would be able to just move this. Actually, I'll probably keep it at the end of the week. I don't know. More than likely, I'll probably keep it here at like the end of the week where the notes page is. And then that way I only have to move it once a week versus moving it every couple days so just for now i'm gonna go ahead and stick this here and then i like how it sticks above so i know that's the habit tracker and where it is so that i can easily go ahead and find it so yeah more than likely i will probably go ahead and leave this towards the back just because i want to be able to just move it one time so like you know uh, prayer or bible study or whatever and then you know vitamins but all of those things that i would like to just keep track of to make sure that i'm being consistent with i'll write down here and i just felt like it would be a more cost effects cost effective option i do kind of wish i would have gotten the one for the weekly tracker if that is a thing, I don't know. I'll have to look because I may, I don't know. Anyway, this is what I have. I'm super excited. I absolutely love it. It is beautiful. I will probably do another video kind of setting this up. Well, no, probably not. I'll just probably do like a flip through video of it later once I get everything set up and start kind of playing with it a little bit more. But I just wanted to show you. Oh, and I think I'm going to add another probably add another pin loop somewhere as well just so that I can keep my permanent marker with me unless it'll fit in like this little pocket but that I, that way I can have a pin and a permanent marker with me so that I can keep track of my habits obviously it doesn't serve any purpose if you don't write on it so anyway that is the end of this video thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and that you have a wonderful and safe day. And thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a good day, friends. Goodbye.